Uh, behaviorally, basking temperature is an ambient cage temperature. Uh, if your reptile's up on the basking spot directly under the lights for several hours a day, I'd say four hours is way too much, five hours is way too much basking steady time for a reptile. They shouldn't want to be there that often. If they are, your temps are too low. They are trying way too hard to maintain a warm temperature. They want to be a core temp of about 88 degrees. They don't want to break 90 and they don't want to be down at 86. So roughly 88 degrees is what they want their internal temperature to be. Different reptiles need different basking temperatures to acquire this. Now, Blue's species is recommended for near 140 degrees basking spot. Blue, however, will not lay under the basking light directly if my basking temp is over 130. If my basking temps are over 130, he is always in a cool spot hiding from the heat and when he does bask after a meal he basks way over here in the cooler side of his basking spot also basking areas you shouldn't have just one little rock about the size of your reptile for them to get up on and bask they should have a big range of temperatures the direct spot blues in right now is about 115 degrees in the middle of the day that spot back there hits about 125 under the red lights. This spot over here stays about 100 degrees. And then underneath them, he can stay about 89, 90 degrees. This end of his cage is about 75 degrees, 76 degrees, meaning the water is probably just below that, maybe 70 degrees minimum. Meaning he has full access to thermoregulation, which is what reptiles need. A lot of people see a reptile, think cold-blooded, think, oh, they need heat, 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 more heat, keep the whole thing warm. No, they need cool areas to bring down their core temperature should it go above 90. Uh, 